Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another video. Um, first things first, we made it through another week. So thank you for joining me. Um, but first, let's get into these nails. Super freaking cute. Found them on Pinterest. Um, I absolutely love them. And the blue and the orange is doing everything it's supposed to. I kind of want to start a segment where I um, show off my nails every couple of weeks. So if you ever have any nail design suggestions, um, follow me on my social media. It's Toast to Crochet on Instagram. Send me any DMs with nail art suggestions. So today we are going to go over how to chain. Um, so let's see. So you, of course, find your yarn and we will go ahead and get into it. So um, I showed you the other day how to slip knot. So we're just gonna run through that and slide that hook through. I know last week I said tail, this is actually the tail. So the beginning of the project is actually that tail. I never explained that, so sorry about that, but that is your tail. Holding our yarn is just whatever makes us comfortable as long as the yarn is taut. So with chaining, we are just going to take our hook and wrap it around the yarn and pull through. And this is just how I do it, guys. There is a way to like do it the other way around, but that hurts my brain. So we are wrapping it around this way and we're going to keep going. So um, there's a couple of different names for this, of course. This would be um, overall your foundation chain. So this would be what your projects start with. So we're just gonna run through that. And I'm just going to do quite a few so I can kind of show you where we're going from there. So we're gonna take that, go to the second, which is this, this is the first, and this one would be the second. So go into that second chain, grab a working yarn, and then we pull that through those two loops. So again, this is a single crochet. So we're going over our single crochet. So we're going to slide that hook through, take it, pull it through that loop, and then pull it through two loops. Once again, we'll take it, pull it through that loop, or sorry, yeah, put it through that chain, pull that loop of yarn through, and then wrap it around our hook, and then pull it through those two. And that would be what these single crochets look like. So I'm going to continue to work that in, just so I can show you what that row looks like and then how we turn our work. Okay, so now that we are at the end of our work, this is kind of what that first row looks like with single crochets. So this is the side that we were working on, of course. And then this would be our side. This is the outside. So this is what it looks like. I use colorful yarn. This is probably not the best yarn to use to be teaching people, but this is what I got that's loose, so <laughs> we work with it. But, um, okay, so then when you're going to turn your work, I always chain one, and then I turn my work. And so this yarn right here, the loop that we just made, is that first chain. So then we go to the second chain from the hook, which is this one, and we go inside of both loops. So there's that B, make sure that your, your hook is underneath that B. And then slide that through to make a single crochet and then slide that through. So of course we go on to the next one. Perfect, seeing that B there. And um, you can separate them to make sure that you have both who looks, both hooks. <laughs> Both loops on the hook, geez, can't even talk. So both both loops on the hook, just to make sure you can separate those. So pull that through, that doesn't really affect anything. So 
There we go. And so that would be how you start your foundation chain. So how you do your slip knot to a chain, to a single crochet, to a row turn. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tips and tricks to crochet. Have a good day. Bye.